Indeed, there is good news for those who were concerned about Samsung exclusively using the Exynos 2200 chip for the Galaxy S23 Fan Edition FE. The benchmark listing on the Geekbench website reveals that there will be a variant of the Galaxy S23 FE powered by a Snapdragon chip after all. The US variant of the S23 FE was benchmarked with a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 under the hood, the same chip that powered the Galaxy S22 series. While the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is still a high-end chip, it will be almost two years old by the time the Galaxy S23 FE makes it to the market, similar to the Exynos 2200. This means that the S23 FE may not be as cutting-edge as its predecessors, such as the Galaxy S20 FE and Galaxy S21 FE, which use the same Exynos and Snapdragon chips as their non-FE counterparts. Unfortunately, there is a possibility that the Snapdragon-powered variant of the Galaxy S23 FE could be exclusive to customers in the United States. So far, no Snapdragon-powered model has been spotted for other countries. This could leave some die-hard Samsung fans disappointed, as many prefer Snapdragon over Exynos. While the Exynos 2200 isn't a bad chip, Samsung has had ample time to optimize it since its debut with the Galaxy S22 series in 2022. The Exynos-powered S23 FE is expected to run well. Similarly, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 wasn't a spectacular chip, partly due to being manufactured by Samsung's less efficient process node, not TSNCs. Despite the chipset concerns, the Galaxy S23 FE will likely be priced aggressively, as is typical for fan edition devices. The expected price of $699 will still make it an attractive deal despite not featuring the latest chipsets. It's important to note that the information is based on leaks and benchmark listings, so we should wait for the official announcement from Samsung to confirm the exact chipset configurations and availability of the Galaxy S23 FE variants in different regions.